This part of the jungle is totally unprotected. The team wants to find evidence that this pristine jungle should be preserved forever. If not, it could soon be felled for timber. Fortunately, Solo is protected within Mulu National Park, yet absolutely nothing is known of what lies at the bottom. There's actually no soil at all, and everything seems to be growing on jaggedy bits of, of, of rock. You see here that this single leaf plant has its roots spread out amongst the rock. These are incredible plants. They're almost like little sundials. The, uh, the leaf turns throughout the day to maximise the amount of sunlight that it receives, which is especially important somewhere like here, where you've only got a beam of sunlight coming down almost at noon, and the rest of the day almost everything in here is going to be in the shade. It's a gloomy and windless world with a constant fall of water from above, creating a unique microclimate. Just trying to document as much as possible so we can work out what's actually growing down here. I didn't think there were going to be much in the way of, of mammals down here, but we've seen lots of little footprints of rodents. We've uh, seen signs of uh, snake, snake tracks. It is absolutely incredible. Just found this rather extraordinary looking little bug, probably related to the assassin bugs, which is why I'm holding him so carefully, because the assassin bugs have a notoriously painful bite. And the way I recognise this one is that you can see just there at the front of the head is a curled beak, which they use for piercing into their victims and sucking out the, uh, their in insides, which is pretty gruesome. But the amazing thing about this one is all that incredible algae that's growing all over its body, I, or even I suppose that could be a part of its body, and that's giving it fantastic camouflage in on the walls of this cave here. A crazy looking little creature. <laughs> These are actually quite small boats and they rock, as you can see, quite a lot because they, they haven't got much grab. If you move even slightly, the whole thing starts to rock, so it's, it's quite an experience. The further the team push up the Sagar, the shallower and rockier the river becomes. Just how far they get is up to the experienced boatman. Lizard. He was just sitting basking in the sun on the bank. The team need to be quick if they're to see any creatures close up. I thought it was a crab or, or you know, a water scorpion, so I thought I'd get the net. What they've actually found is a freshwater turtle. It's a small female. Amazingly soft. It's just like rubber, really, isn't it? Yeah. They sit on the bottom and they stick their head up. See, the nose is at the tip. And then when fish come, they shoot their head out. Wow. and catch the fish. I mean, I've been bitten by one a little bigger than this in the US, but it's very painful. Look at the minute. Completely erected. 